In today's Christmas haul, I'm going to show you how to take your decor to the next level with a giant DIY gingerbread house, sweet treats Christmas tree, and a fabulous winter wonderland display. To see all the deals I got this season in stores and online, be sure to keep on watching. <laughs> Let's start with Walmart. They have lots of reasonable ornaments, trees, and lights. I purchased my tree here for $69. It is a six and a half foot pre-lit pine tree that is flocked with snow on it. And to match the winter wonderland theme is this gorgeous garland with pine cones and peppermints. The snowflakes are not included, but I will be sure to link everything in the description box down below. This little gingerbread cookie ornament is a steal at $1.98 each. I had to grab them for my Sweet Treats theme tree since they look like real cookies inside of a cookie cutter. And to add some sparkle, I got silver glitter icicles and snowflakes. Next is Amazon. I ordered assorted items and DIY supplies. This is a peppermint ball garland from Kurt Adler Brand. He designs super cute food and sweet treats ornaments if you're looking for some. These are his foam cupcakes, popsicles, and donuts, which are scented and smell really yummy. This is also a clue for my next video, guys. So if you haven't already, welcome to my channel and make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see a holiday marathon of yummy recipes. The other ornaments are glass candied apples from different brands. And as for DIY, I made a giant gingerbread house from this cardboard playhouse. I decorated the roof with gumdrops inspired by the seasonal home on YouTube. I'll link her awesome video for you to check out how to make them. So for that, I needed paper mache eggs, some craft paint, and loose glitter. To create shingles, I picked out foam sheets in all different colors and cut them out to look like Necco wafers. And the whole festive look of the house comes together with these string lights I found in candy canes and peppermints. But they're so cool, you can use them to decorate anything you like. Inside the house belongs to Mr. Elf. I set up a little hangout spot for him with his mini table and chair set. You can probably tell he's super happy to move into his new crib. He was definitely a great find and sings a lot of holiday songs. Our next stop is Hobby Lobby. All of their Christmas decor was discounted 50% off. They have a unique selection of knickknacks, stockings, and gift wrapping supplies, as well as any accessories you need for your tree. I found this pretty floral spray that really caught my eye for $5. You can use this piece to dress up any shelves or put in a vase. I also saw some novelty snowman merchandise if you're a fan of Frosty. These shatterproof ornaments come in a pack of four. And this trinket is an adorable hat with a clip that holds cards or notes for your desk space or party table. Many frosty items are sold out online, but this plush gift box is still available for $4 if you need packaging for a small gift or candies. The last of my gingerbreads are boy and girl characters with blue and pink bows. I like how they are super soft and made out of clay. And these little guys are $1.50 each and are sold as a plain paper mache. To customize them, I painted them gold and added some cutouts. My checklist this year needed a tree skirt. This one was metallic and made from a satin crinkled material. When you open it up, the edges have a braided trim that looks elegant with your presents under the tree. Speaking of presents, I chose their peppermint and glittery red wrapping paper. 
Next door is Michael's. I saw a lot of white themed decor as well as vibrant nutcrackers and wreaths. I set up this snowy white winter wonderland display with all products from their store except for the snow babies that were passed down from my family. I wrap these snowflake string lights in a circle on top of a snow blanket and place the Let It Snow sign in the middle. One of my favorites here are the silver metal lanterns. I put battery operated candles inside for a glow. If you're wondering, most of these decorations are from their Ashland brand line. And to complete the scene, I added white sparkly trees and this adorable deer statue. The other decorations I didn't put in the display were these jumbo candy canes and peppermints on front of the house, a hot cocoa jar with a Santa face handle, a wooden sign that says candy cane, and a simple Santa statue. Of course I got more lights too. The gumdrop ones I used to hang on the front of the gingerbread house. Our last items from the haul are more miscellaneous. I purchased more Kurt Adler ornaments at the Christmas shop in Bryant Park's Winter Village, New York City. Here is a delicious ice cream cone, different flavors of cake that look so realistic, a hot cocoa mug with marshmallows, and a rainbow swirled lollipop. While you're busy decorating, you can snack on gingerbread cookies. If you want to try them, you can find them at Williams Sonoma. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me and that all these lights brightened up your day. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below your favorite place to shop for the holidays. See you soon!